Hi, I'm Dr. Sunil Nagale, oral maxillofacial surgeon, and I'm just here today to go over briefly how to uh, clean an extraction socket after third molar uh, surgery. Um, typically, it's common for patients to develop some sort of have some sort of collection in the third molar region, uh, most commonly from the bottom wisdom teeth and not so much from the top wisdom teeth. Um, and that can be a source of irritation and pain. Um, and if it sits and lingers long enough uh, and the tissue closes over it, it can be a source for infection. So um, here I have my, my patient here who we're going to use to uh, demonstrate how to clear out a socket. Uh, typically we don't want patients doing that uh, before about five or six days uh, post-operative. Uh, because um, disturbing the socket can sometimes uh, form a uh, help to form a, uh, a dry socket. So we don't want to create any dry sockets. Um, so we want to wait about five or six days uh, after the procedure. Um, so what you'll notice in your in your post-operative bags, you probably received uh, one of these syringes. It has a little curve on it, which will help you get behind the second molar area and you're gonna to wanna to fill it with uh, water. You can use salt water if you wish, uh, but really tap water is good enough to do the job uh, and it will uh, help to mechanically remove the debris from the lower sockets, okay? I'm gonna show you the area that you wanna look at when you're at home. Okay, I'm gonna have uh, Jay here open his mouth. All right, Jay, open your mouth and open up real wide, as wide as you can. And this is the second molar here, and usually the third molar, the wisdom tooth area is behind this. So it is pretty far back there, and it's a little tough to get to. Uh, but what you can do is you're gonna wanna take this gentle curve, and you're gonna wanna aim it behind the second molar region, and just gently flush water uh, until some of the debris that's back there is removed. As you can see, Jay has the uh, syringe pointed in the third molar area behind the second molar. Many times when the patient puts their finger in their mouth like this, they can pull their cheek out uh, enough where they can actually see the opening. Uh, they're gonna need to be looking in a mirror for, that to, for, that, for them to be able to see that. If you take the tip and put it uh, very close to the opening, not quite in the opening, um, because if you put it in the opening, uh, it'll, it won't close, uh, it'll take a long time to close. You're going to want to keep it about a fraction of an inch, maybe a quarter to an eighth of an inch away from the opening, and then just flush water in there until you start to see debris uh, come out of there. Okay.